Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing my little shopping trip to get Christmas decorations and just plenty of things to prep my apartment and everything around me for the holiday season. Um, this video is actually filmed two different days so if you see me wearing like different shoes or a different outfit it's because the day before I went to Target and then the next day I went to a craft store and Target again so I had a different outfit on anyways just to clear up some confusion. <laughs> no I did not change shoes in the car even though that probably sounds like something I would do. <laughs> so anyways today I will just be sharing some of the fun festive things I got to decorate my apartment and some crafts that I'm going to be making so I'm pretty excited let's prep for the holiday season and get right into the video So my first stop, of course, was to check out the Target dollar section. I was really impressed this year by what they had um, options for decoration wise. Uh, these little Christmas trees were perfect because I just wanted something small but cute enough that I could decorate, didn't take up too much space, and I wasn't spending an arm and a leg on a tiny Christmas tree. So this was only $5 and would fit perfectly on the table that I was planning to set it on. And of course, I could also pick out some adorable little Christmas ornaments because they had a great affordable section for only $3 for like 15 little Christmas ornaments, which I thought was perfect, just enough for me. And of course, you can't forget to pick up a tea towel on the way for my kitchen. And there's also plenty of options for like little cookie plates if you wanted to make cookies for your neighbors or recipe books or just other little table decorations, maybe even for a white elephant gift. I don't know. I was just super impressed this year and definitely had to exercise some constraint from not buying everything everything out in this section. And it wouldn't be the holiday season if you didn't look at fuzzy socks, right? <laughs> so of course, here I am looking at some fuzzy socks. These ones had a thicker material. They were definitely for more of like walking around your home, not just to, to wear <laughs> with running shoes or something. So those were really cute. And then they had the more festive ones with like little Santa prints on them and whatnot. Uh, and these were also $5, so still a pretty decent price. And they look to be pretty high quality with also tons and tons of options for a white elephant gift or even a little Christmas present, a stocking stuffer, something like that. So I was able to pick up plenty for myself and for some friends. Now onto the wrapping paper section. I was looking for some fun Christmas bags to put some of my friends' gifts in them, and I came across this section, which is definitely a little bit more expensive. I didn't end up buying anything from here, but they're just very simple, cute, almost farmhouse classy decor, which I thought was just a really cute new style I hadn't seen Target carry. Now for my studio apartment in Seattle, I wasn't really looking for a stocking or anything because I'm not going to actually be spending Christmas in my studio apartment since I'll be with my family, but I thought Target had a really adorable stocking collection even for your pets, which was something new I hadn't seen them carry before. And of course they had a great array of stocking hangers, which I thought were also really sweet. And these dear ones for like mom and dad and the kids were also really perfect. I'll probably have to remember this someday when I have children of my own. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, for my miniature Christmas tree, I had already purchased those $5 ornaments I showed earlier, but I did see that Target carries these miniature sets of ornaments with like a little tinsel and some different um, ornament designs, which I thought was really sweet for like your kid's room or something like that. And of course, the miniature stars as well. And as always, they have a really affordable and cute ornament section with tons of different trees and just really cute displays that every time I shop in Target, Target, it just really gets me in the holiday mood which is probably pretty dangerous I mean look at the bag of stuff I ended up buying <laughs> And this is the exact moment I realized I was spending way too much money because look at how adorable this line is. It's like my exact aesthetic with pastel colors, super girly. And then I also kept seeing all these throw blankets everywhere, which were just absolutely adorable. And I was spending way too much money anyway, so I had to get the heck out of Target and back into my car before I bought pillows and Christmas printed men's suits for the boyfriend that I don't even have right now. And yeah, I was pretty much losing my mind. So I got out of there as quick as possible with still a bag full of stuff. <laughs> So the second day of shopping, I went to Michael's because I am doing a craft for a couple of my friends and I saw these adorable baking sticks that you would like put into a cupcake or a cookie or something like that. I thought they were absolutely adorable. I always see stuff and then I get all of these ideas of baking things for people in my community and then sometimes I do it or I run out of time. So I made sure not to go too crazy and buy all this stuff, but these cookie jars were just to die for. I can already imagine how I'm going to be this super extra mom, if you guys couldn't already tell, just making tons of intricate Christmas cookies and, you know, bringing them to neighbors or people at my church or, you know, my children's teacher, whatever it is. I'm pretty excited for that time in my life, so at least I can dream, you know. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm in Michael's and I'm looking around for some things to make my friend for this like Christmas exchange we're gonna do um, and then I'm also probably gonna make some stuff for my own place since I should start decorating so yeah I'm gonna go find my family and try to get this done that is kind of cute oh no isn't it like $20 a line show the Chelsea one for 10 that's pretty cute I can't wait to do this in my own Sorry. house Ooh. There's dogs. Look at Chelsea. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's all dot. That's so on brand for me to get this. <laughs> okay, so like my aesthetic for my someday actual house is going to be very different, but right now I'm really into this like really cute childish looking Christmas. Like look Tell at this. Me that this is not adorable. Like these candy cane trees and like these little plates to like bring stuff to your friends this wreath that's a little obnoxious but like i think this stuff is really cute i'm like kind of into it so my friend i'm envisioning getting like these little cone things and wrapping them in different fabrics and like what do you call them yards yarn strings something like that making it look like this really rustic christmas tree ish thing um I, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll try to insert a picture um, after this video um, and like explain a little bit more what I'm thinking. We'll see how it turns out. I'm hopeful, but I'm no DIY channel. This is like kind of what I'm thinking of, but like a while we have to do a lot of layers of this and make it really thick. So like one of them maybe being like this peppermint looking one and then like some burlap and then like, I don't even know what else. So like maybe this one, who knows? This is probably gonna turn out like a disaster, but we can do our best. So for the rest of my time at Michael's, I just looked at all of the beautiful Christmas decorations and got plenty of ideas for crafts that I wish I had time to do and people to give it to, places to put it. But for now, I will just begin to plan for someday 
uh, but I think it's always really beautiful to just look around and they have quite a display of ornaments. I would highly suggest that if you guys are looking for high quality Christmas tree ornaments that you would come and check out Michael's. They also have pretty funny ones. Like they had a lot of alcohol themed this year, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, that's just something unique. A lot of very random things. Like if your kid is into a specific cartoon, whatever, Michael's would probably have it. Okay, so I thought I would show you guys all what I got from Target this weekend. Uh, so the only things I purchased were pretty much Christmas decorations, which is why it's fun. So I'll go ahead and start over here. So this is just that really cute tea towel I showed. It just says North Pole Milk and Cookie Co. Uh, and I think it will look really cute on my oven when I'm baking. And it actually comes with both a red one on top with this like little stitching and then another one on the bottom, which is just like a classic peppermint with this little fringe. And if I'm remembering correctly, this was only $5.00. Like that's extremely cheap and they're they feel like a decent quality so i'm really happy with those i think they'll look adorable and then over here i went ahead and picked up some more multicolored lights they're miniature so they're not going to like take up a whole you know chunk of the wall or anything when i hang them up and they have like this white cording which i always look for because it looks much better in my opinion um, than like the green or the black cording. It's just small details like that that really make a difference. And it was only $3, which again is quite a steal. And then I got these sparkly ornaments, which I showed, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on my little tree. I think they're adorable. And these were only three bucks as well. Oh, they were only $1, that's right. These ones were a buck, so that was awesome. And then I just went ahead and got a couple of these fun ornaments to hang on the tree since I didn't know if all the glittery balls were going to take up enough room. So I thought these would just be kind of fun to accent. And each one of these was a dollar as well. And then this is my miniature little tree I got. It's only $5, super cute. I'll pick it up to show you guys better. They had a flocked version, one that had like fake snow on it. Um, but I thought that one just like didn't look as good and I thought it was gonna be hard to put my ornaments on it. So I got this one and it was from the dark Target dollar section for only $5. Amazing and a little wooden base is super cute. So I'm very happy with that. And then over here I have this Christmas banner. It just says Merry Christmas. This was about $3. So I thought this would be fun to hang up over my bed or over my desk area, something like that. I think it'll be super cute. And then finally, I got this long strand of tinsel for $6, a little bit more expensive. I didn't get it in the Target dollar aisle. I got it where like the other Christmas decorations are, but I think this is just super classic. If you guys can't tell, I'm doing a very classic Christmas look, nothing too aesthetic or neutral or something like that. But just the sparkly tinsel with the red and green just reminds me a lot of like decorating my room when I was a kid. So I thought it would be really fun to wrap around my bed or around my windows. All right, and that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed coming with me and shopping for the holidays, the holiday decorations, everything fun surrounding that. In my next video, I will be showing you guys how I decorate my apartment for Christmas, and I'm pretty excited for this video. I've been working hard on it, and I think my apartment is going to come together perfectly. So make sure you look out for that one. But again, leave a like, comment down below, let me know if you purchased any similar decorations or if there's anything you think I should add, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.